Oh, I feel like the offense, um, through the first few weeks, um, I'm going to go back compared to the uh, last time this, last year around this time. Um, you know, I feel like everybody's more comfortable. Me, Jacob, T. Mac. this is, we got one year under our belt. The old line got more than multiple years. Jonah's a veteran now. I would say he's a veteran. Um, he's got to be more vocal, but all in all, I feel like we're understanding the plays more to where we can communicate on a different level than more last year at this time. As a quarterback, do you notice the offensive line shift like the fact that Jonah's is playing right tackle or there's a mix of match with that? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, we go over um, whenever we have team meetings and stuff, and okay, we're going to try this out. Just moving everybody around, you know, we have a pretty versatile uh, O-line. So we're just, you know, multiple guys can play multiple positions. So. When you and Jonah were teaming in high school, did you play tackle? No, you played guard. Right okay. guard. Right guard. Okay, so what challenge Jonah allows him to take that transition to like tackle? Um... I would say now is just how his body has changed from high school to now. In high school, he kind of was, you know, he was still young. He was a sophomore, so his body body really wasn't developed. Um, now he's fit. He looks really solid. He can move. Um, he's athletic, but, you know, he's got, he's got good feet on him. Is there a, a wide receiver that's impressed you that maybe isn't in the starting group? Malachi Wright. Mm -hmm. um, man, I remember the first day I told him, I was like, you better be ready because you mess up. I promise I'm just going to rip you one time. And he's like, okay, bring it on. Like, I want to learn. I want to learn. So, like, I didn't rip him, you know what I mean? It was just to see what he said. And I was like, I like this guy from the start. So, he always came in day in, day out, working. We'd come out 20 minutes into the locker room before practice. And he's right there reading the whole script, going over the plays. And I'm like, you nervous? He's like, no, nah, I'm just getting it down so I don't mess up. You know, and then you know, a couple times he's slipped up on a couple plays, but I was like, bro, you're a freshman. He's, it's good. There's nerves, you know what I mean? I was there last year. I wasn't perfect last year it's at this time, too. But, you know, he always comes in and works, asks questions, and, you know, he performs when the ball is thrown to him, too. So, Does anything t Mac does surprise you anymore? No, no, not at all. Just knowing him, being around him for a whole year, it's like, yeah, okay. I was surprised he did it twice in one drive, one hand. On the defensive end, who's kind of stood out? Like, can you guys go up against them that stood out for you? Man, I feel like there's just so many, so many guys on the defense. Um, from the DB room, um, Yates been doing really good. Um, Stoops been doing good, playing a different position this year. It stepped up. Um, Dalton when he comes in, Gunner's been playing good. Um, then even the new guys, the linebackers, Daniel, uh, Low. Um, Amon Allen been doing good. Um, Jacob Mono, even though he's out right now, um, he's been really coming along as a leader. Um, and in the D line, I would just say the whole unit. They're just tweaking the subbing guys now, and it's like, wow, like how are we going to block these guys up? Do you think it's a little bit more competitive than last spring in terms of how the defense has kind of renovated itself over the year? Um, yeah, I would say last spring was more the older guys. Those guys played together, but it was a different defensive scheme. And this year, I feel like just everybody just got something nasty to them. So, I mean, it's fun. It makes practice fun. It's not just offense competing. I and mean, It's just like literally butt in hands, good on good the whole time. So, well, obviously, you want Tanner to block the one out there, but he's been out. He's been um, I would say the whole tight end room. Um, everybody's been getting reps. Like, you know, they've been splitting reps at practice. Um, Berto been seeing some playing time. Um, TP, Tyler Powell, he's a giant. Uh, he's been doing good. Uh, and then um, Kean, man, you just told Kean, you got to step it up this year, man. We're going to need you this year. So I would say after watching him this past two, three weeks, he's just been amazing. So. I mean, that's just a credit to their hard work and Coach Pop Pop's coaching, so. Uh, what do you like to do away from football? Oh, they call it duty. And I got a dog at home, too, so I just play with my dog. Go back, yeah. Oh, uh, I had him for, what, two months now? Two and a half months? Almost three months, yeah. What's the dog's name? Uh, Ali. What, what, what's the dog's name after? Um, so that's just, in Hawaiian, it's like, uh, like a chief or the king, so. His name is something like that. I like being a dog, yeah. Uh, it's good. Um, the first couple of weeks was kind of horrible. I mean, he's taking the poop all over. So little puppy. Yeah, he's kind of he's not that little anymore, but he's still little. So what kind of dog? Is he? 
Uh, American Bully uh, Terry Mix. Yeah. I'm wondering like how timing being quarterback here. Mm-hmm. I would say time management. It's really not as hard for me anymore because I would say after this going into my fourth season, it's kind of just repetitive stuff. You no, know, it's not anything new to me. It's kind of things that now I can like push stuff aside that is not necessary for me to worry about. School football, going home. Now I got my dog. School football, going home. With my dog. Uh, from your perspective, what's been, what's been, what stands out to you about the Um, shoot, I don't know, but everybody else might get jealous. But I think the quarterback room. We just got a coffee machine a couple of days ago. Thank you to Lauren, but uh, that's clutch. So we don't need to walk all the way down the building. Um, other than that, it's just all the history and the past of U of A, you know, I really wasn't one that was in depth with knowing the tradition and everything. So just having everything up there and it's like, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't read every single thing up there, but I learned something new every day. I walked down that hall. What has Justin Flo's intensity brought to the program? Uh, man, a lot of energy, you know what I mean? So, I mean, you see a lot of guys doing that. I mean, that's just because of him. Um, <laughs> And then he's just always making everybody laugh, you know. Um, he's always the same person every day, and then that's what I respect of him, you know what I mean? It's not, you're not getting one guy and a different guy every day. So I really respect that. He's a hard worker, um, and he got a kind of professional mindset when it comes into the building.